A Kenyan athlete, David Tumo, emerged winner of the Lagos Marathon on Saturday morning. The race, which is championed by Access Bank, started in front of the National Stadium Suruleri and ended at the Echo Atlantic City, Victoria Island, a 42-kilometer stretch. The Third Mainland Bridge, Osborne Road, Park View and Lekki Koi Link Bridge were among roads that were closed for the annual activity. Tumas set a new record, spending two hours, ten minutes to cross the finish line. Last year, since Ayehu Legese of Ethiopia won the marathon, he finished with a timeline of two hours, 17 minutes. Tumar, the new winner, will be rewarded with a grand prize of $50,000. The first woman to cross the finish line was another Kenyan, Sharon Shero. Uh, first of all, we were many, as you, as you can see, you had seen over the television, over the network. So we hope and we hope that everyone, when you train good, you will have achieved the, what you have done. We, we normally say give deeds to where the deeds is, is deserved. So first of all, by winning is a very great event, but by making course record is a more big event. In fact, I am very much impressed to come here in the next year to run again, and I hope that my consideration will be considered by the, by the management of the Excess Lango City Marathon. I'm, I'm going back to settle down and start training to focus on another race come on April. Maybe I can qualify to get an Olympic qualification. <laughs> The organizers of this, this is the fifth edition of the Access Bank Lagos City Marathon. I think that we all deserve a round of applause. Five years running and it's just getting better and better and better. This year it's been rated as a silver level and we've seen a lot of A-class athletes coming out here to do what they know how to do best. What we're doing and what we have started is that we want to make and put Lagos, Nigeria, on the marathon calendar of the world. Hello? We want to put Lagos, Nigeria, Access Bank Marathon on the marathon calendar of the world. And we're on our way there. It was very, very, very tough, but I thank God I made it. 16, yeah. I came 16. 16. Yes. Yes, yes, of course. It wasn't easy, but I'm proud. We're going to give all the glory. Winning the race is not easy. Um, at some point, after the 5 km, I was really tired. I took a walk for a while, and then I continued. It was, it was not my best time, but I'm happy with my time because it was so hot out. So, yeah. I, I ran the 10km race, and uh, I, I want to say that I, I am not very happy about the way, I mean, the way the, the race is being organized for the 10km. We were kept waiting for the tags. You know, they, they, were, they were supposed to give us the white tag so that they would know those who start from the beginning. But that, that is not well organized. In fact, they spray us pepper spray. They were not organized. People were standing on the queue, but they were not giving the stuff and they were just throwing it and there was a lot of chaos everywhere. So I'm not very, very happy uh, for the fact that I paid money for this race. It's not a race. It is not a race. A race that is not timed where people are rushing to get rubber band to start a race. Then after finishing, you, without your time, you still continue to rush for medal. It's not a race. How they will choose the first 200 now is what we are waiting for. How they will choose the one to five, the real, the real car, whatever car they call it, the one million, the 750, we are waiting to see the people they will give it to. That was what they did last year. They give that car to the person they like. We thought with the advent of 5,000 era, they would change their mind to organize this race. And they still come ahead, came ahead and did the same thing. Please tell them if they are not, if they are not ready to organize 10 kilometers, they should stop it. And let us come and cheer the Kenyans. Oh. Still on the Lagos City Marathon, Emmanuel Gyang and his wife Deborah Pam have emerged as the first Nigerians to complete the 42-kilometer race at the 2020 Lagos City Marathon. Yang, who was the first male Nigerian, finished 33rd overall with a time of 2 hours 25 minutes. 
Pam was the first female Nigerian to get to the finish in her category, finishing 14th overall with a time of 2 hours 45 minutes. The couple had exactly three weeks after their wedding emerged the first Nigerian finishers in their respective categories at the seventh edition of the Opepe 10 km International Road Race. Popularly referred to as Nigeria's number one long-distance couple, Gyang and Pam got married in July 2019. Gyang, an athlete from Plato State, has also emerged as the first Nigerian at the 2019 Abiyokuta Road Race, clocking 31.03 seconds behind Kenya's Biwot Allen, who finished first in 28.76 seconds.